And as we have already said many, many times in the past, or should I say in the past couple of days since this very protest started, the Nigerian army today have announced that they are going to commence Operation Crocodile Smile nationwide on October the 20th. This is an army that cannot defeat one out of the seven Fulani sponsored terrorist groups in the north. They are an army equipped to kill civilians. Before I came on air, we received our intelligence that British military officers have arrived in Nigeria to advise them on how best to kill the protesters. As we speak right now, in the head office of DSS in Abuja, MI6 agents are there advising them on how to contain the protest. Britain, as at this very night, is effectively running the government of Nigeria. As at this very night, I'm telling you, they have come. As soon as they concluded their meeting today, they decided that people have been terrorized and cowed over the years. That fear cannot let them we stand the Nigerian army. That is the reason why they have decided to launch Operation Crocodile Smile on October the 20th. And we are now telling them this night that given this very development, Britain advised Nigeria that as soon as they launch this very operation, IPOB will come out on the streets. They can now paint the entire protest as a secessionist agenda. That is what they want to do. And Britain advised Nigeria this very evening that as soon as they paint this very protest, spontaneous uprising of grief and anger amongst the people as a secessionist project, then the world will withdraw their interest. They will issue as usual they are clamped down over reportage and coverage. They will leave the world in total darkness and allow the Fulani Janjaweed army to commence a wholesale slaughter of the innocent. These are the things that you must bear in mind this evening, this very evening, this very day, Saturday the 17th of October, Britain is now in charge of Nigeria through proxy, through deep fake videos, through concocted news that nobody can see these people. Britain have now taken over their former colony as of this evening, and that emboldened the Nigerian army to announce that they are going to conduct a nationwide operation on October the 20th, ostensibly designed to break up the protests. They want to bring out IPOB and we are going to come out since this is now the case. Now, all of you that claim loyalty to the government of the Janjaweed, all of you who are supporting the Fulani terrorist onslaught against innocent people, you should now be prepared to face the music. If your father is in the army of Nigeria preparing to kill innocent people, now is the time to leave Nigeria if you're still there. Anywhere we find you, if your father is a unit, a division commander, a brigade commander, and anybody dies in this protest at the hands of your father, you will die. That thing that we have been avoiding before is now coming to meet us. And we must meet the enemies of freedom head on. We must meet them. We cannot postpone it. We have now arrived at a juncture where the Fulani Janjaweed have been planning to place themselves for nearly 200 years. The total conquest of the South. It will commence on October the 20th. All our people must be prepared to meet them. We are going to meet the Nigerian army. I am telling Britain now that we shall meet them. 
There is a protest going on all over the country to register legitimate grievances against a rogue state and a rogue police formation. And the army is planning to mobilize within this period, which means all along in Nigeria there has been a conspiracy to terrorize the people into submission. If the army should leave the barracks on October the 20th to come outside, it means that Nigeria is actually a dictatorship an elected dictatorship and not a democracy and the people are going to resist it it has happened elsewhere around the world it is now going to happen in the zoo this is the time of reckoning it has come you cannot postpone it any further it must happen in 2020 that thing they have been looking for for very many years to subdue the south the time has come. Everybody must rise up. And we are placing everybody on notice. If you work for Nigerian police, if you work for Nigerian army, if the army comes out on the 20th of October, we expect you to resign your commission. If you remain in the army, your houses in the villages will be attacked. Where you live in the towns will be attacked. That anarchy they want will come. Britain is promising them that they're going to save them. Britain has given our land to the fallen. It cannot happen in our time. Instead, we will all die. The Nigerian army is set to commence its annual military exercise tagged Operation Crocodile Smile nationwide. You have not conducted any exercise in Borono State. Boko Haram is humiliating you every blessed day. Every blessed day you lament, you are begging Chad. You are busy pleading with Niger Republic to send you soldiers. You are pleading with Cameroon to come to your aid and rescue. But you have found soldiers to commence oppression, whatever rubbish nationwide. Take that useless oppression and go to Borono and free the captives that are in IDP camps, in refugee camps. I hope they are listening to me. Take all your nonsensical Janja Buddhism to Bruno. Go there and exercise all you like all the days of your life. You are a cowardly army. You are an army of cowards. You only specialize in killing unarmed civilians. That makes you an unrepentant coward. Full army, army of Nigeria is a cowardly army. An army made up of cowards who cannot fight real armed men. You want to go and kill protesters. Whereas there are bandits all over the place in the north. The same north. Oh, but this people. Britain, why is Britain? What type of life is this? You people are planning to demonstrate in the north. The governors are complaining in the north due to insecurity. Everybody is lamenting about the atrocities being committed by Boko Haram. Yet these people, they have the effrontery, they have the temerity, they have the presence of mind. I may even say they have the idiocy in them to recommend, to suggest or to even mute the idea that they want to conduct a nationwide operation. Now, every sensible person must ask them, if you have an army to conduct exercise all over Nigeria, why have you not defeated Boko Haram? Why have you not defeated ISIS in West Africa? Why have you not defeated Al-Qaeda in the Maghreb? Why have you not defeated Fulani, Janja, Widihism, the Modros, Miyeti, Yala? Why have you not defeated Ansaru? They cannot answer these questions. But you people are there watching like idiots as these fools come up with this nonsense. How many are they in the army? 150,000, 200,000 at most. They have the backup Miet Yala terrorist group everywhere. 
That is the reason why Governor El Rufai was busy dropping guns in our forest for Fulani Janjaweed in our villages. They planned this a very long time ago, and Britain is now supervising this very onslaught. They are the ones supervising it. They think they are sensible, they think they are wise, they think they know more than anybody else. But above all, they think they can use their guns and their tanks to intimidate us. We must be prepared. I am warning the so-called ordinary Nigerians to be aware of what is to come. If they roll out of their barracks, things can never be the same again. Everybody is going to suffer. Everybody will suffer. I believe that the, the, the media for the past few days, at least the print media, have been very robust in reporting what is happening in the zoo. Everybody is now going to suffer. Anybody who has an issue with a legitimate protest going on, none of your children have been killed in SARS or Koso and his or her organs harvested and sold to Indians. You have not experienced that. None of you had to swim through dead bodies in a zoo river to identify your children. So you don't know the pain that the people on the streets are going through. You have no idea, I tell you. Bring out this army. And we are telling everybody that the hour has come. That destiny beckons. I told you 2020 will be marvelous. It has come. It has arrived. When we go to protest grounds now, they kill us. Isn't it? So let us meet this army that is coming. We must meet it head on. The time has come. I was telling stupid Biafran governors, idiots who cannot reason, I was telling them that they will bring this thing to us. Their plan is to conquer you and make Nigeria the home of Janjaweed across the Sahel, across the whole of Africa. You didn't listen. I saw the video today of a zoo river. I was in a zoo river many years ago. I said people are dying. I, 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 I did a video, I lamented, I cried on Radio Biafra. I told you people are dying, they are killing us. I told you that the Fulanese were coming very many years ago, I did a video. Go and watch that very video and I want it posted on my wall for the world to see. I saw it somewhere and I asked for it to be extracted so it can be put on my page. If we did not start today. Elohim Chukwokika Biyama, God Almighty in heaven, has been giving me revelation from time. Everything I utter from my mouth comes to pass. It must come to pass. That is how God in heaven ordained it. I went to a zoo river. The things that I saw in a zoo river I reported and I I told you at the end of that very clip that Fulani is taking over our land. I said it. And on October the 20th, that plan that was hatched by Otman Danfodio when they took Gobert, that they renamed Sokoto from Hausa people, is about to come to fruition. And who made it possible? The likes of Anam the Aziki, where the likes of the idiots who are saying that they want presidency, have you seen it? They are coming. To shut us up so there will be full and settlements in our villages in our forests our lives are over when i tell you something some of you do not regard it as, as anything until it comes to fruition until it comes to pass until it happens before your eyes then you understand the enormity of the mess you're in that time has come men are going to die starting from the 28th of october i'm sorry to say it's going to happen it's either your freedom or you do something about it. We are now at a crossroad. If you back down, if you leave the streets, your lives will never be the same again. Fulani will take you over forever and ever you are gone. They would have succeeded. With the help of some ifulefus and some idiots that want presidency, people idiots that want high political office, the time has come. Oh, say, it's night has come. They are coming on the 20th. They are coming. Fulani is coming on the 20th. Miyetiala <laughs> are in our forests and our bushes, lying in wait 
The path that Owazurike and his likes have prepared for them with Shomole of Owere. They all the things you should know here. When I told you that these people are saboteurs, you didn't listen to me. The time has come. Their masters are coming. Let's <laughs> say to go now. <laughs> On the 20th. Previously, they used to launch their operation, whatever rubbish, to tackle IPOB, to tackle Biafra agitation, or to claim they want people to travel home and have a, an enjoyable Christmas. Is now Christmas? Go and check. They have run out of excuses. They have full on things that with this impunity and British support, they can do anything they like. Now we are all going to die there. All of us will perish. Come on the 20th, we are waiting. You know, Bia, I am asking the zoo army, come on the 20th. Your children are out on the streets protesting. Your daughters are out on the streets protesting. They are not protesting to divide Nigeria. No, they are protesting because of the brutality of SARS, which is symptomatic of the failure of leadership and brutality of those who are ruling Nigeria. The thing, the fact of the matter is that I don't care who your father is, who your mother is, the person they occupy, they are all failures. They only care about their immediate family or they lack the know-how, they lack the nuance, they lack the education, they lack the capacity to build a viable modern nation. 